Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Paul is five years the elder. He is five inches taller. He will have a seven-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. The evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Queens, New York, Uriah Oh! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? All right, you ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who's gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, he's got the longer reach and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Wow, huge head kick. Unable to connect with the right. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. 
Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and he tags it with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Powerful leg kick lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nice punch there by Lee. Ooh. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Ooh, what a head kick. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Score that takedown, Lord, man. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Big punch man to the top. Osmond follows. Final seconds of round one. Horn oh, sounds for the end of round one. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. A ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Straight punch lands. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice strike. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he... whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, 
So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Ten seconds now to go in the round. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this, you're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Nice. that was perfect. Good round. He's rocked, he's still. Ready? Ready? Let's go, fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. He's throwing. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Liver kick. Courtesy of that punch in that round, DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Oh, 
Ready? Ready? Let's go, fight! Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Paul's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Well, missed on that one. Really throwing with authority. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Check that kick as well. Nice point. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Under two minutes now. Whoa! He's out! Holy smokes! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 10 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout.